I can check the amount of pressure that's coming through this blast hose. So is it important that I check that? It's imperative that you check that. Primarily because if you are under 100 PSI, coming out of this nozzle, this particular nozzle here, I am not efficient. So I'm using more garnet, wasting precious diesel by being non-efficient. So to check that, what I'll do is I will have a pressure nozzle kit. So what this does, it has a hypodermic needle that fits on the bottom of this particular liquid-filled gauge. Now, it's a liquid-filled gauge because if we used a non-liquid-filled gauge, it would um, fibrillate quite dramatically and be difficult to read. So we use fluid-filled gauges so that it holds the needle reasonable so you can read it relatively easily. So if we were blasting now and I had this dead man open, that would give me airflow. So then what I would do is I would pierce the hose with this hypodermic needle and that would give me an indication of how much pressure I've got. So how would I insert this needle into this hose? Would I put it in this way? Of course not, because the abrasive and the air are coming up this way and it will block the needle on me. So I'll always place the hypodermic needle in the same flow as the air and the garnet. So if I had air on this at the moment and I was opening or actuating the dead man, it would give me an indication on this particular gauge how much pressure I have expelling the nozzle. As I said, you can see here it's all red. Why is it red? Because under 100 PSI, you are not efficient. You're wasting garnet, wasting diesel. So the green indicates to me where I should be. And as I said, 100, 110 PSI is optimum working pressure so that's pr primarily how this works i can also use this particular item to check the bull hose that we explained earlier the two inch supply air supply line i can start the checks there so sometimes you may check this here and find that you have 90 psi and when you go back to the primary bull hose you'll find you've got 100 so then this gives you the indica the opportunity to be able to find where you're getting too much uh, pressure drop and th this is why I was saying it was important that you only crack the valves on your air prep just crack the valve on your breathing air cartridge because if you have the valves open too far you will have a, a significant pressure drop here so if you open those valves too much you'll find the pressure drop is here so it's important that you remember that yes I must crack those valves but only slightly to maintain a reasonable blast pressure at this particular nozzle